I war with people because I, I, that's how I keep myself on my feet. And if I didn't war, I'd be bored. I would feel unchallenged. Clashing and war dubs are synonymous with grime. As an artist, if you're going to utilize grime as a genre, be ready to be challenged. And there's no doubt many genres and subcultures here in the UK have flirted with the concept of clashing over the years. Jungle, drum and bass, garage, and others have all had their share of clashes. This is in no small part due to the sound clash culture born of Jamaica, which has heavily influenced in a number of ways our musical development in the UK. With the birth of grime though, competitive clashing was no longer an occasional affair for live shows, but more an absolutely fundamental element of the genre. Clashing was seen at live shows, pirate radio sets, and critically, war dubs recorded in studio and circulated for the wider fan base who couldn't attend the live shows to hear, share, and debate the lyrical war. It's so entwined in the culture that DVD series would center themselves around the conflict, such as Lord of the Mics, and they would go on to springboard many talented artists' careers. And this is how the war started. In 2002, after the huge success of Eskimo the previous year, Wiley would release his igloo instrumental on the underground. The sonnets of the instrumental lent itself well to clashing and Flowdown would be the first to capitalise, recording a war dub sending for Sniper E. The two would go on to clash live on pirate radio. I get blood clad, lick down, down, see, see, top of blood clad, black man. This war dub would trigger the first major free for all of the scene, all pivoting around the igloo instrumental. Morphire Crew's Nika would use the igloo beat to send for Wiley's Roldy Crew, believing that Wiley was the voice behind the Devil Boy featuring in Flow Dance Dub. Rico Dan would reply with his own rendition of igloo, whilst Wiley would focus his energy on someone else. The floodgates were open and Dirty Dugs, now known as Dirty Goods, having already sent shots at Wiley on radio with his Why He lyric, would imminently become one half of the first official grime clash. <laughs> Why he wanna come and counteract about the yeah, you should put down the crap. That's why he's coming and his style is whack your rhyming crap. Check out the file of facts because Wiley ain't ready for me, not ever for me, nor ever ever will be. And Wiley, the mother dead, you know the left to blow. Dirty Dogs was a big talent, on par with Wiley, and with their feud already bubbling, Wiley would utilize the scene's energy centering around his instrumental to retaliate with a war dub directed at Dukes, initiating what is considered the first official clash war dub saga of the grime scene. Dukes would follow suit and respond thereafter with his own vocal of Igloo. Round one. The war's starting. The war's starting. 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 Let's get it. You see Dukes here. Dukes is trying to see Dukes. You see Dukes. You Dukes on the radio. From where's the war? He's saying, why he? Where's the war? What he's saying, he's saying, why he? Really, why he's trying to? Why he's trying to? Why he's trying to? I'm not strapping my limits. I'm strapped for the top boys. And see this, I'm a top boy. I clash top boys. And hot boys. I reverse shots and hot boys. Don't feel threatened. I'm above the law boys. I'm raw boys. In my hood, niggas are raw boys. My hood's mucky. There ain't no floor boys. I make noise if I hear anyone near me. Where's the hood ain't near me? They can't move me. I'm Moves to the mic like, oh yes, won't let them test me in a contest. Them man are flex like complex, I know they feel vexed. The best is coming up, backstep, step from set to set. Bully don't pet, don't bet against me. I'm a vet, I will crash your set. Don't think I won't crash your set. Don't think I won't switch it up and step on your set. I'm the coldest boy you've ever met. I'm the coldest boy you'll ever meet. You can't defeat me, you can't erase me. I'm staying, you can never get rid of me. I'm staying here. Who's that? Look, why he is Yo, let's get straight down to the nitty gritty. Cause I'm ready to murder some boys in a committee. What a pity they wanna be bad. Well, I pee diddy and I talk about them like the city. My glock, not a pity like merciless. I'm bursting this. The wicked is verbalist, a herbalist. You never heard of this. I'll be that sound boy killer. Why you can never murder this? I'm worse than this. Your girl keeps chirps in this. She flirts with this. I said she won't work with this. She's gonna tear off my pants and shirts for this. She's gonna tear off your knickers and skirt for this. All sound boy, please stay alert to this. And all bad boys, burn up your herbs to this. Wiley, yo, you better stay alert to this. And all bad boys, burn up your The two would go on to have one more round of war dubs on the acclaimed Igloo instrumental before a hiatus. Me, no, no, try and get too much, you know that. Hey, listen. 
Why those? Let me see if you're real or fake dudes. Wait dudes, let me see if you're carrying your weight dudes. Hey dudes, I heard you and you're gonna pay dudes. Gonna mislead people, that's wrong dudes. Will he comes up with the goods, I'm better than dudes. I'm moving with the bass, I'm heavy dudes. He could never say ever that you're ready dudes. Will he wouldn't bury dudes. I pop your girlfriend's cherry dudes. I pop your ex girl's cherry dudes. I'm like a 38 special, I'm ready dudes. Serious, watch how you move, step steady dudes. Your girl's nipple tastes like strawberry dudes. You feel the bass, feel, feel it, feel, feel the calm. heat in your face. Feel the heat, lyrics for lyrics, calm. Look a bow cut boy. Don't mention Yo, let me feel them. They don't know. So let me tell about the boy named Kylie. You know there was the one named Kylie. You know there was the cat named Kylie. You know the butter boy named Kylie. You know the fussy guy named Kylie. Who am the pussy like a pie? That's Kylie. Who get a juke in him eye? That's Kylie. Who try for this dudes and die? That's Kylie. Who run when those they fly? That's Kylie. See, I've had enough of that simple shit. You only use one word to end up every sentence. How can Willie really step to me when you've already been hanged for your sentence, boy? Your credit done, you got insufficient funds. Don't try going like you're brave. You weren't running your guns or busting guns when heartless killed you live on stage. For me, the war was even, but. Wiley himself suggested that Dukes had won. In the same interview, he goes on to explain that clashing not only elevates your status and skill set, but also furthers the standard and level of expectation within the scene. As you get me, and in our own area, it's sort of leaning towards Dirty Dukes. So it's, I, I wouldn't say that he, he slewed me to the floor where I can't come back, but yeah. he's good. Up on stage together. Yeah, no, nah, definitely, we're gonna do that. The reason why we ain't done it yet is because we don't want no one really to benefit off of it other than us. Right. So like, if, if me and him are gonna clash each other, we want proper, it's our rave, basically. Yeah. We want proper dough. The war, yeah, is separating into like the different areas and it will spread around the country eventually. But warring with each other, like battle rapping, it will only make people think more. It will only make people's level of MCNs go up. That like, level of MCNs gone up because of me and Dukes. Dukes and Wiley would go head to head at the first ever Eskimo dance, two figureheads of the scene cementing the importance of clashing in the culture. Nobody is too big to be challenged. Also showing how lyrical conflict can be utilized for mutual benefit, performing to a sellout crowd. I'm with the bass, I'm heavy Wiley would go on to use the igloo instrumental for his first single, What You Call It, from his debut album, Treading on Thin Ice. Clashing was pivotal in the developmental years of grime, utilised to separate the top talents and characters from the people making up the numbers. And ever since, it has remained at the heart of the scene, a way to make or break your career, certainly in terms of respecting the culture. No name is ever too big to be called out. This is why it's always a hot topic when an artist associated with grime avoids clashing. If you've been called out and the scene believes it's a valid opponent, it's time to reply. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I'm also going to upload all of the war dubs so you can hear the full tracks. Peace.